Now, the first time I remember seeing an LP with a flock cover, which, to give it a sort of um, velvet kind of feel, uh, would have probably been the Bee Gees' Odessa. And from memory, that was red on on the outside. Very nice indeed. I never actually owned that, not until a lot later, and I owned a CD version. So, um, anyway, my point is, then, when it came to CDs, I've covered this, this box set before. The next flock stroke velvet covered one, front, back, Al McCogan. Now, you'll know I've covered this in another video, so if you just, if you just, if you're interested in details on that, just go through the videos, you'll find it, or just type in Al McCogan. Then, uh, in the 80s, um, I started listening to Clan Ad, and um, in 1980, Enya, um, which is not quite a real name because it's a Gaelic name, but she goes under the name of Enya, she joined Clan Ad and she stayed with Clan Ad, um, members of her family, until 1982, and then she set off on a solo career. Um, did some fine albums, which I've got the albums individually. And then I discovered that there was a, a box set out called, I think it was called Box of Dreams, which is probably about six CDs. I think I'd got four CDs. Uh, that's always been fairly expensive. And then another one, um, which I think I'd only ever seen once, is this one, which is a four CD. And it's called Enya, Only the Collection. And it's got that nice flock stroke velvet <laughs> case to it. Anyway, um, there are a lot of box sets that come out in the... the this sort of dimension here. Yeah. There we go. There's the first two CDs. Nice photograph of Enya. She's, uh, I think she's 62 years old now. It's hard to believe that, isn't it? Mind you, 62 is no age. And there's the other two CDs. Uh, as happens with the, uh, when when you get these box sets, usually that, that they're sealed and that is on the back. To give the uh, potential buyer the breakdown of the tracks and inside there's a very nice very nice booklet with some smashing photos i've heard said that the lyrics some of the lyrics in orinoco flow are just made up words they're not even gaelic correct me if you know different beautiful photograph very photographic lady photogenic I should say wonder where these were taken at uh, anyway it gives a breakdown of all the tracks some gorgeous photos there and uh, I've yet to to play this I think I'll probably put this on the multiplayer very very nice um, I was reading that she's she's still unmarried she doesn't have any children she has lots of nieces and and nephews she originates from um, around by um, an area near Donegal and uh, she was born on the 17th of May pardon me 1961 so there we have it I don't know um, if she's done the material recently uh, she changed label I think to Warner Brothers and did some material with them so I'm, I'm not really up on that, but I'll, I'll have to check this box set out when when I've got a bit of time and a, a spare afternoon with nobody uh, interfering, asking me to turn the volume down or, you know, unreasonable requests like that. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you've not subscribed, well, subscribe. Subscribe because I keep showing you these things every day so it's always going to be something different okay thanks for your time and have a great day bye for now